Hey Evan, welcome to Gay Demon. 53 videos for Helix Studios, that's quite an achievement for such a young guy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, it kinda, it's kind of overwhelming when I think about it because it doesn't seem like it's been that many, I guess. Uh, and I have been doing it for going over, what, a like year and a half, two years now? Going on two years, I guess. Um, so I guess time just kind of went by really quick and I didn't realize that it was adding up that fast, you know, consistently filming month to month. Um, and I guess I also consider myself really lucky having that many scenes because I know, you know, a lot of other models in the industry, they don't necessarily film the same way I do. Uh, so being able to kind of consistently move forward with it has been really, really awesome. How did your porn career start out? So uh, my porn career started out from Christian Collins, um, speaking with him. Uh, he was a friend back in Ohio and we used to go to the club together and we were outside on the patio one day and he just brought up how he started doing porn and he had filled for Helix and he was recruiting um, to try and get myself and a few other models to apply. And I had never thought about it before then. Um, I had never considered doing porn or I wasn't even really, I guess, necessarily a heavy porn watcher. I mean, I would watch porn every now and then, but I didn't have like a favorite website or a favorite porn star or anything like that. Uh, so it took me about a month afterwards before I finally applied and I was just laying in bed one night and it was like 1am and went through the application process and applied uh, and then the, he got back to me about a week later and then for about two and a half three months I just kind of went on this back and forth game with uh, the current model coordinator at the time and uh, eventually he talked me into it and I came out for my first trip and that's what that's what locked me down though I was meeting everyone and uh, the camera guys and the director uh, and just everyone else that worked in the office was really reassuring. It was nothing like I expected. What were you expecting? Um, probably every like mom's worst fear of porn. You know what I mean? The uh, older generation's outlook on what porn is and the industry itself. Um, so, but I definitely turned. You know, it's it's completely eye-opening to see what it's all about. Do you think being a porn star is every young gay guy's dream? Because a lot of people criticize the way porn affects young people. What, what would you say to that? Um, in terms of it being everyone's dream, uh, my age, I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Um, I think you definitely have to have the right personality and the right uh, mindset to do porn. Uh, it's definitely not for everyone. But it's a lot of fun, and I don't think that it's... It's hard for kids my age to do porn, necessarily, um, as it maybe was back then. And I think that's why it's so controversial, because the older generation, it's still this, you know, demeaning thing that isn't really spoken about. It's kind of like a taboo. And, you know, my generation, it, sex kind of was a lot more, I guess, talked about at a younger age. So, you know, like 12 years old, like, I was jacking off before I could come. So, you know what I mean? Kids just experience things a lot a lot sooner now, and you just grow up with it a lot differently. So you said you didn't have a favorite porn star growing up, but do you have a favorite porn star now? To be honest, I, I don't. It's yourself. Even, even now. <laughs> yeah, it's myself, no. Um, no, I, uh, even now I don't, I don't have a favorite porn star. Uh, to be honest, my porn watching probably hasn't changed any from when it's I was in high school. To watch porn now. It is, it is, because now the entire time I just know that, you know, I, I just pick everything apart. So, I mean, and even before when I watched porn, like I said, I didn't have a favorite site or a favorite porn star, I would literally just Google gay porn and, and go through the searches, find a website, a find a video, yeah, find a free one. Um, so now, you know, uh, it's probably just my own thoughts that kind of do it for me. Memories? Yeah. So tell us what it's like to make porn at Helix. What goes on during the shoot? So porn at Helix is a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what it's like at, you know, a lot of other studios. I've definitely heard, you know, the way other studios film, um, but I've never experienced it myself. But in terms of filming on set with Helix, uh, I just say it's a lot of fun. I mean, other than, you know, the filming sex and uh, all that it's a lot of laughing and never really you know you don't you don't ever really have a bad time I guess so whether it's from b-roll you know the next day going into sex even if it's a long day uh, everyone's still you know a positive mood and 
that's a lot of fun. Are the Helix boys that you filmed with the type of guy that you normally go for, or like how do they compare with your own personal tastes? Um, well, <laughs> my friend actually said they're they're one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, they're definitely the same type of guy that I date. Uh, well, you know, one of the models being my previous ex-boyfriend. Uh, one of the models now that works for us being my current boyfriend. So, you know, obviously the, the type of models that we film are definitely what I'm interested in. Um, so I can't say that I have a hard time filming with anyone. Do you have any uh, kinks or fetishes that you would be happy to share with us? I don't think I necessarily have any specific kinks or fetishes, to be honest. I guess I would say maybe my fetish is just a lot of sex. Uh, and I don't know how often normal people have sex, but I mean, I could have sex two, three times a day and be just fine. Uh, even if I'm not having sex, I'm, I'm, I'm at least jacking. I, I get off more than once a day, that's for sure. So I guess that's, if anything, that's my fetish is just a lot of sex. <laughs> Which would you say was the most exciting scene to film, and why was it? Uh, my most exciting scene, I guess the first one that comes to mind right away is uh, my recent scene with Tyler Hill, just because that was my most uh, chemistry-filled scene that I've had in a while. Uh, we really clicked filming. Um, other than that, in terms of exciting scene, I guess my outdoor scene, that was my first time filming outdoors, having sex outdoors with uh, Nicholas Reed. And uh, we filmed in a canyon, and we had we had some guy out on the path keeping watch. and. <laughs> I just remember a, a, a mom and a son walked by and the, the kid was throwing rocks into the woods where we were and nobody had any idea where he was, but it was fun. What all was going through your head when we were filming the Helix Academy stuff? Like That was kind of our first big project. Like, what, what, yeah. what was going through your head during all that stuff? Um, I don't necessarily know what was going through my head, but I know that I enjoyed the filming a lot more just because I was used to you know the normal scenes and the normal sex filming. Granted, we had B-roll with them. Uh, filming Helix Academy was a lot more B-roll intensive, so it was fun to get to act and do a lot of non-sex days. Did you think it was going to turn out like to be what it was, or was it, were you just like, what are we doing all this shit for? It seemed a little sporadic at first, just because I wasn't used to this, you know, the way a filmmaking process worked or making a bigger movie like that, so all of the little pieces that we did was it seemed really hectic, and it was a little confusing. Uh, so no, I definitely didn't think it was going to turn out the way it did at the end, but you know, now after going through the process and everything, uh, it's a lot of fun. So usually in uh, the scenes you top mainly, uh, have you ever bottomed? Yeah, I've bottomed. Uh, I've even bottomed on camera a few times. Uh, once was with my current boyfriend and the other one a little bit of persuasion, but uh, I don't normally bottom. Uh, my personal life, I do. If I'm dating someone, I'll bottom if if they if they like to top. But I'm predominantly a top. What's your most prized possession? My most prized possession, um, probably Bentley, my dog. Yeah, I'd have to say Bentley. He's he's my bud. How do you usually spend your time off? Um, time off. Usually the weekends is when I have my most time off. Um, and I just been hanging out with friends. It sounds cliche, you know, I like to have a party and have a fun time, but I mean, that's, that's pretty much what I do every weekend. Uh, get together with friends and just hang out. Other than that, it's really nice to lay around the house every now and then with nothing to do and just lay on the couch with Bentley and watch TV. Where do you see your career in five years' time? Um, I probably don't see myself in the porn industry anymore, to be honest. Um, it was, uh, it's not my life long goal. Um, I hope to be, if not finished with school by then, almost finished with school. Um, still a little uncertain on what I want to do. Uh, I've thrown around a few majors and stuff, but I think it's gonna take some time. Maybe after I get my AA, I'll, I'll finally be like set on what I want to do. Um, but I definitely know that I'll stay in touch and in contact with the industry. Um, I made, you know, lifelong friends in the industry, so it's not, it's not going to be something that just, you know, goes away after, after I move on. Um, I'll, I'll probably even still keep my Twitter active and interact with fans and, you know, I mean, keep up to date with everyone. Are there any stars you'd particularly like to fuck? Um, 
One, one right off the bat, I would say is just Levi Carter. He, I know he's at a different studio, but it'd be fun to film with him sometime. Um, we have a good off-camera sex connection, so I think it'd be pretty good on camera as well. How can your fans stay up to date with what you're up to? Uh, the best way is definitely Twitter, uh, other than you know, definitely joining Helix Studios and staying up to date with all my scenes uh, and photo shoots and everything that we release. Twitter's where I mostly interact with all my fans. Um, I actually don't control or run any other social media websites, just to put that on the line. So I know there's been a lot of fake uh, Facebooks and, and Tumblrs and stuff, but none of those are me. The only thing that I personally run is my Twitter. I know I should probably tap into some of the other ones, but slowly getting there. Oh, do you want to say what your Twitter is? Uh, yeah, my Twitter, uh, you can find me at Evan Parker XXX. So lastly, what would you like to say to your fans? What, what's your message? Um, I mean, my message to my fans pretty much is just an awe. Uh, I definitely didn't think I was going to have a response I did, you know, starting out in film. Um, just creating the fan base following that I have now, you know, over 56,000 followers, and the amount of time that I've been filming is really, really astonishing to me. Um, it's humbling, and especially interacting with the fans the way I do, you know, how enveloped they get with, you know, not only my filming, but my personal life. It's really, it's really nice.